Hey everyone, welcome back to another DPS audio tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tear out gun base that sounds exactly like this. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually going to start to sound like this. Okay, so to start off with, I already have the preset that I showed the preview of made. I'm just going to recreate it in a separate serum just to show you the full process from start to finish. Just so we're all on the same page and so you guys can follow along exactly and get the exact same sound. My master is just a, at the bottom I have Pro-Q3, just making sure everything below 130 hertz is, is mono. A lot of people do more or less, almost preference, but as long as your sub frequencies are in mono, then you should be fine. After that, I just have a G-clip with nothing changed to the settings so let's get started so to start with we're going to go to analog sign and drop this down to three um, because tear out is quite loud we're going to put this up to 75 just to get to our kind of distorted crunch earlier then we're just going to go to the effects chuck distortion on put this on overdrive a lot of people would call this meta for Serum 2 at the moment. This stacking overdrive is insane. As you've probably seen a lot of tutorials, we're going to enable this oscillator B and change its mode to spectral. Just grab something that is sort of tonal, you know, mid to high, even low, but something that you think would complement a tear out gun nicely, which is usually a snare, a clap with a bit of tonality or a perk that has a nice kind of mid to high end. But in our case, I'm just gonna use one of these perks from the Remedy Kit and drag that in. And see what you can work with here. Um, you can also cut out, obviously from bottom to top is low to high frequencies. So depending on what you're working with, but this doesn't have much lows and we're kind of going for that very uh, strong, you know, distorted sub. So I'm going to keep everything in. I'm going to drop this octave and take this up seven semitones. Next, what I'm going to do is before we add anything else to it, I'm just going to do a splitter, get the highs, add some hyper dimension. But I'm going to drop the hyper down all the way because we don't. It's yucky. And just have mix up and the size Just kind of adds a bit to the stereo field for your high end which is nice to have add a convolver going to put that before the hyper dimension so it gets expanded going to use this tight plate Now you can't really hear too much of what it's adding right now, but once you start to add some more effects and distort it, uh, the absence of this convolver is quite noticeable. So it's good to put it in there for now. And then just to give you some purpose behind it, obviously it's just adding an impulse response to the key we're playing. Quite nice to have if I, if I bypass it. Just adds a nice bit of texture to the high end. All right, now to get a bit more of a distortion, what we're gonna use is another filter. And we're gonna to change to S2 filter and go to diffuser. Put the cutoff down near our sub frequencies. And then pop this driver. Now, this is great because usually this sound can be obtained from adding this to a mixer track and then rerouting it to a bass group that you have and just chuck a fruity wave shaper on. I'll show you right now. So if I turn, this is what it sounds like with the diffuser filter, without. But then if we've routed it to a separate bass track and add don't worry about the rest of these, these are fine. And add a wave shaper saturation set to this. You get a very similar sound. But for the sake of this tutorial, all we're doing is just making sure we can get as far as we can to make a good gun within Serum. 
um, which is helpful because then you can change and chop it afterwards. And if you want to focus more on post-processing um, as opposed to you know editing the actual preset, then you can go about it that way. But for now, we'll turn the diffuser back on. And then we'll just add a compressor, change it to multiband. Sweet. Now we're just gonna do a classic pitch bend and go to our matrix and LFO2. Change this destination to main tuning. I'm gonna put mine at around 8% and change that to envelope. To get a really nice sounding gun, with this spectral type oscillator, if you change the warp mode, go to FM and FM from A, so your frequency modulating from this sine wave. Pop this up. See that it just it almost crushes the sound even more, but it's not adding it's not adding volume to it. It's just changing the tone of our sample that we have here. So you can find a sweet spot for that. Now that's really nice. We can also play around with this scan. So you can make them, obviously this is how fast it plays through the sample we dragged into oscillator B. And so the scan rate, if you want a quicker gun. But we'll leave it around here, maybe 118. So now we've got a really tough sounding low and mid. One of the cool things we can do here to bring out some extra tones, and you'll see this done a lot by tear out producers, is we add an equalizer and we're gonna put it right before the filter. So we have our first layer of distortion here with the two stacks of overdrive. And then if we look at what we've got after, we're splitting the lows and highs and we're convolving the high end, adding some dimension. And we wanna add the equalizer here because what we're gonna do is change it to a little notch here and put this to there and drag it across. And then we're gonna boost the gain and try and find a nice frequency that adds a bit more, adds another harmonic to our gun. Now that sounds pretty nice. I'm just gonna drop down the filter here for a bit. Nice. So our equalizer is there at around 822 hertz. Just while we're at it too, I'm going to put this random down. So without any post-processing on this preset, you have a really nice kind of foundation for creating a gun pattern and then going from there. Now, another thing we could do is maybe add an EQ on. And it sounds a little bit muddy here. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit to the highs. And then I'll copy the same pattern made earlier. Another good thing to do with your tear out guns is add some delay and we'll go negative 35 milliseconds over here, place it there. Let's have a listen. Now the next thing we want to do is let's clone this, take out the sub and then we're going to pop this up an octave, increase the scan rate and let's have a play around. Maybe we'll change the filter since we don't need it to be, we don't have a low end to distort with it. So we're gonna add it to a combs. And we're gonna drop the volume of this a bit. Nice. Just played around with some of these effects. Added a combs filter without it. Just adds a nice bit of character to the high end. And then we'll copy the same thing. And so without it, we have this. And then with it, we have. You can't really tell, maybe with headphones on, we could pop it even up an octave. There we go. So after you tweak it how you want and you can add some play around with adding different samples in, 
like we could go back to our original preset and find, jeez, what is this one? Wow. So you could play around with it as much as you want. You can start moving the LFO around. Maybe we could have it add it to these levels for oscillator A, oscillator B. So this is without any post processing. So you have a really, really good starting point for making a sick sounding drop. I'll add some drums and we can show you kind of what you can make with this. So after adding some drums, some background noise, a couple of reverb fills, um, a few bass fills, I've come up with a drop. The layout is quite basic, but it should help you get the idea of what you can do with a Serum preset like that. Also just note, I haven't done any post-processing apart from routing it from here to a bass channel that just has reverb and some sidechain on it. This was the drop that I ended up making. Rise up! Rise up! Rise up! If you've stuck around to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching all the way through. Um, be sure to like, comment if you have any questions, and if you are looking for future tear out or any type of heavy music content in the future, then make sure to subscribe and put those notifications on because there will be a lot more coming up very shortly. So thank you once again, and I will see you in the next video.